see how the spinning motion of the Earth leads to circular motion of air masses in the atmosphere. Sometimes that circular motion can speed up and go going very fast indeed. That's how you get the extreme winds of hurricanes and tornadoes. And that's what I'm going to talk about in this last section, <gasps> so speeding up the extreme winds. Oh, yes, it's tornado <gasps> time. So cool! Oh, We've got yes. a tornado box on the table, which we're going to make a little tornado in the studio. But before that, we're going to take a look at this sphere right here. Now, go ahead and gather around this one. You can see it's a big sphere. And if I take it and I pull on this cord, <gasps> it gets smaller. Uh-huh. If I give this a little bit of a turn like so, it's got a little bit of a spin. Now, what happens to the spin? I'm going to make it shrink. It's faster. It's faster. That's because of something we call angular momentum. A little bit of spin on a big sphere turns into a very, very fast spin on a small uh-huh. sphere. So when you take something which is spinning and you make it shrink up, you make it go dramatically faster. Mm-hmm. And this, right here, that's the principle that causes the winds to get going so fast in hurricanes and tornadoes. Let's make a tornado, what do you say? Let's, totally! Let's do it! <laughs> Come on up to our tornado box here. And you all can just look in the sides. And you can see we have a pan of warm water inside there. Mm-hmm. And I got a big, big chunk of dry ice. We're using lots of dry ice today. Yeah. So I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it inside here and put it inside our warm water. And what we'll get is lots of fog. I'm going to take that fog and I'm going to pull it up through the top with this sand. But as I do that, the, the fog is going to start to spin because of how we've cut the openings in this. It's actually a shower curtain. So it's going to start to spin very slowly. But then when it has to go through the hole, it's got to go into a smaller opening. Uh-huh. So what's going to happen to the spin? It can go faster. It can go faster. And what we get is a tornado. Yeah. There's the spin. The spin is starting. <gasps> Whoa. That is so, so high. Wow. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, Look at it go. It's a real tornado. Oh, yeah, it is. It's just a little tiny one. It's a little tiny contained tornado. What would happen if someone put their hands into it? Sounds like an experiment. Give it a try. Put your hand in. See what happens. It cuts off it. right there. <laughs> oh, it kept on going above your hand. Do that again. Do that again. You can feel a little droplets coming out. It feels good. Oh, yeah. Ready? Nice and oh. Yep. Chunk number two. Let's see what we got. Let's see what happens when I go faster. Ooh. Ooh. Batter. Whoa. Oh, yeah. Now we're going to let our tornado settle down. Goodbye, tornado. Goodbye. Goodbye, tornado. So spinning plus the stretching the air and making it go to that small opening made for some truly dramatic winds for reasons we've seen. But what does this wind feel like on the ground? And how do you describe it? What numbers do you use? This is a topic that was first explored by mariners as we'll see in the next segment.